Hey there guys, it's Kid Bombing here, and welcome back to my channel. Some of you might recognise me as video creator since I have done the previous video. So, as so many of you have enjoyed my watching my videos so far. I really appreciate you guys. So, first of all, I'll be doing another read out video for you guys for story time together. So some of you might recognise some Disney books from the previous videos. Oh sometimes they do children's books. So hereby I'll show a book what I got. I'll go read to you in a minute. I have this is Disney's Fool's Gold. It was published by Disney's one of Earth Reading and Grula Book Club Edition. So you can see a pic you can see the front cover with um Mickey Mouse and Goofy. Since last year, it was Disney's 100 year anniversary. It was so wonderful and incredibly amazing. So, when I tend to read by words, I show some pictures from each page. So, are you sure you're ready? Excellent. You have come to the right place? No. Let's begin. Mickey and his friend Mickey Mouse and his friend Goofy were on a fishing trip in Alaska. They found a nice place to camp by the mountain lake. After setting up their camp, Mickey and Goofy went fishing. The fishing was really great. Goofy chopped wood for the fire. And Mickey cleaned the fish. The fish smelled wonderful as they cooked over the firewood and they tasted even better. Mickey and Goofy heard the splash of a puddle. Along came an old trapper in the canoe. Howdy boys, said the trapper. You're Supper sure smells good. So of course the boys asked the trapper to take to eat with them. For supper they sat talking around the campfire. Times sure have changed here, said the trapper. In the old days every day everybody was looking for gold. Not everyone found it. I was one of the lucky ones. You mean you found gold? cried Goofy. Yep, said the old trapper. He pulled some nuggets of bright rock from his pockets. Lots of gold still in these mountains, he said. Up there on the twin peaks I could find more, but I don't need to be rich. The next morning the trapper said goodbye and paddled off in his canoe. Mickey and Goofy no longer felt like fishing. They had gold fever. How about paddling up to the Twin Peaks, said Mickey. You, you'll bet, said Goofy. Before nightfall, they reached the town. It was on the river near Twin Peaks. Snow started coming down fast. Snow covered the ground by the time Mickey and Goofy arrived in town. They went right to the warm hotel. The next day, they went shopping. They needed tools for digging gold, and they needed sh snowshoes and food. So Goofy was loaded with, down with supplies. Mickey went to the dog sled and a team of huskies to pull it. Then they went over the snowy hills. At Twin Peaks, they unloaded the sled and began to dig. It was not easy to sink the pick or shovel into the frozen ground. Before long, Goofy turned up a nugget of bright, shiny rock. Hey, Mickey, look at this. He called. Wow, said Mickey. It's gold. Faye, the boys worked harder and faster even ever. 
they filled two bags with shiny rocks. Then they headed back to town. Proudly, they showed their found find to the hotel keeper. Ha oh, ha! Laughed the hotel keeper. That's not gold. It's iron primates, primates. We call it fool's gold. Don't feel bad. These rocks have fooled plenty of people. Mickey and Goofy were very disappointed, but they were not ready to quit. So the next morning, they went off to the Twin Peaks once more. This time, they walked to the spot closer to town. While Goofy dug, Mickey looked around. He found a cave. Mickey crawl, crawled into the cave. He lit the match so he could see. Gold glimmed in the rock. Mickey hacked some nuggets of gold out of a rock. Hey Goofy, he yelled. Look at this. This, this is real gold. Well, wow, said Mickey, we are rich. Together, they filled two bags with gold. They, then, they headed back to town. Bags of gold were very heavy. When none of the boys came to Totem Pole Park, Mickey got an idea. My arms are tired, said Mickey. Let's leave the gold inside the Totem Pole. We can pick it up later with a dog sled. Okay, said Goofy, and dropped the bags into the opening. Mickey kept the nugget to show at the hotel. That's gold, all right, said the hotel keeper. But he was wrong. Two strangers heard the hotel keeper. They began to whisper each other together. The next morning, the two strangers watched Mickey and Goofy leave the hotel. They watched the boys got on a dog sled. And they followed the boys to Totem Pole Park. At first, the boys did not see the other sled. But as Mickey reached for the bags of gold, Goofy saw the strangers coming. These guys look like trouble, said Goofy. Let's get out of here. The boys leaped onto their sled with the gold. Away they raced. The strangers followed. Throw the, throw in the gold, yelled Mickey. Right, said Goofy. They, the boys began to toss gold nuggets from a sled. The strangers stopped to pick up the gold. Hey! This isn't real gold, said one man. It's just false gold. Now the boys' sled was much lighter, and Mickey and Groovy raced into town. They returned the sled, picked, packed up, and paid the hotel bill. Then they headed for the dock. The boys got on the river boat to start a long journey home. Well, what an adventure, said Mickey. Too bad. We had to give up all the gold. But at least we are safe and sound. And we do have a little gold left, said Groovy. He pulled out the nugget. I guess we weren't meant to be rich, said Mickey. He did not know how right he was, because that nugget was of gold was false gold too. And well, I hope you, I hope you guys enjoyed the story of Disney's Fool's Gold about Mickey Mouse and his friend Goofy. He, he was spending his adventures in camping in Alaska. And so, um, if you feel happy, um, feel free to comment, comment down below. If you enjoyed it, give thumbs up. If you don't, you can put thumbs down. Okay, guys, so...
last year it was brilliant because we celebrated the magical moments of Disney since been around about 100 years since the company was been animation studio was established in 1923 okay guys so that's it for all and remember don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit this notification don't miss out the future contents because it's important for you to watch and look at, look at my social links from the video description below the screen some of you have seen our intro already oh okay you can look at my pinterest twitter tiktok and instagram you can support my con additional content and exclusive ones as well as okay guys so thank you ever so much for watching and thank you for, for your support my my creativity it means a lot to me and i hope you see you soon and thank you very much